Hello everyone, welcome to this demo on how to use Adobe Creative Cloud um, for storing your files, your photographs, so that way you can free up some space in, on your computers. Um, so I'm going to show you a couple different things. The first one is where you need to go so you can upload your files. So um, I'm going to put the name on the top right here. So I'm going to paste the link. It's basically assets dot adobe dot com so that's a s s e t s dot adobe dot com so once you put that um, and hit enter you're going to be taking into this page so you have to put your user um, email account and that is the one from school or if you have a personal one that you're using you can use that uh, but in most cases it's going to be your um, school email so let me write my one of my emails. Okay. So once you log in, um, sometimes it asks you um, to verify it, but probably now it's going to go straight to my folder. And here we are. Okay. So if it's the first time that you log in, it's probably going to be empty. I have one uh, folder right here. I can show you what I have in there. I have a couple of um, students images that I was sharing with them so you can see that you have thumbnails um, you can organize this you can make as many um, folders as you want so to make a folder let's start with that you're gonna go right here where it says create new folder and I'm gonna do a demo one that says um, demo importing files okay and I'm going to go ahead and hit save. So as soon as you do that, it's going to add the folder. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is in your case, you probably have the files on your computer already, or you're importing it from a SD card, a photo card. So we're going to put it here on this one right here. This is a card that I have plugged in. So I'm going to go here and open that. And I'm going to navigate all the way to my files, which I have them right here. Um, so what you can do is go in here into your demo, the folder that you're importing. One of the things that you have to understand, you can't drag in folders within to have folders inside or stuff like that. You have to create a folder and then drag the files, the images in here. They can be raw files, PSD files, JPEGs, um, anything works. So once you do that and create the folder, you can either select the files here and navigate um, to your files through the browser so I'm going to do that so you can see right so you can get them through here um, you can also create another folder inside if they're raw files I'm going to do that I'm going to create a new folder title raw and in here I'm going to move those two files either way you can either select them through here I'm just going to drag them because I already have it open and you can just drag and drop um, so it's going to take a little bit to upload but in a second, it will be uploaded. So now that you have it uploaded, you know, you have to plan accordingly. This is not something that you can do like at last minute. You have to upload your files and then, um, you know, go and do something else. Or maybe when you're going to go to bed, drag all the files that you want to upload and then put them there. And then in the morning, they'll be uploaded uh, because most of the time you guys have a lot of um, images that you're going to be um uploading so if it's like just one or two that you're uploading um, it would, shouldn't take long uh, right now these days the internet is really slow because of the quarantine everybody's at their home um, watching movies editing the computer so um, it, it is slower than normal um, but once you're here and you go back now I can see like if I go to my files I can see both of my folders um, you can navigate through them and I'm going to show you says that it's still uploading okay so it finished uploading the files now I'm gonna go here so I can show you how they look go to my raw files and here are the two files one of the cool things about um, uploading here these are raw files and you can still look at them which is great you can zoom in um, one of the things that I wanted to show you is that now that you upload all your files here, you can always download them so you can work in Photoshop and then re-upload them. And that will save you a lot of space in your computer. So it will behave like an external hard drive, right? Where you still have to 
um, save it in there and then move it and stuff like that. Here you have to upload or download. So to do that, if you select the file right here, um, you can go here to this little menu on the top. Um, let me make this um, visible, but right here in these three dots, you can upload a new version or download. So if we download the file, it's going to ask you what format you want it. So it will actually convert it to a JPEG if you want or a PNG. Um, let's do the JPEG so that way it's quicker. And you're going to hit download. So it's going to download your file. Now, this, in this case, it's going to take a while because it's a raw file. So it actually has to process that. Process that. Um, and then download. There you go. We download it. So now let's see at the file. Um, here it is. So now you can, for example, open it in Photoshop. Um, if that's one thing that you want to do. And you can work on it. Let's say I just want to do a quick, you know, make it brighter kind of thing. Um, so let's say I want to do that and press OK. Um, now I want to save it. Right, so you can save it directly where it is. I'm just gonna ask you, you know, the quality. Yeah, I want it big. Okay, so now I can close it. Now, the cool thing about this is if I go back to here, I can upload the new version, right? Because um, that's gonna be um, what you wanna do. After you finish working, if you have a newer version of it, then you can go here upload new version in this case i don't want to do that because remember i converted to a jpeg but if it was a raw file and i do some tweaking i want to upload it i can do that okay so that way it's here so that is a new way that you can access your files and save it to not clogged up your entire computer because i know you guys take a lot of pictures and start editing and you don't have the same space that a server at the school has here you can basically store all your images and download what you need to work on and then when you're done and create the psd you can upload it again okay so that is a pretty cool thing that you can do um, for this now there are a couple other things that photoshop has which is pretty cool um, i'm going to go back to photoshop and let's say i want to re-download this one let me go here or Reaccess it that way i have the same one i'm going to open it in photoshop one of the things that you can do when you go to save uh let's say if i have layers here and i have a couple layers right so i have the background one and layer one if i go to file okay save as here when this window comes up um, you have two options you can save to cloud documents or save to your computer I would suggest that you start using cloud documents because what that means is that you can access your files from any computer that you're logged in into Photoshop. So if, you go, if you're at school and you use your um, school email and Adobe, it will, you will have the files already there waiting for you. So if you go here and do that, um, you can basically see your um, folders. You can create a new folder up here. Okay, so I'm gonna put demo. I'm going to put two so that way we know the difference save and there's no documents there yet so i'm going to go ahead and click save okay and what that's going to do is going to upload the file so i can close it and one of the things before i close it you will see that in this document is psdc usually you have psd but the c means the cloud so it's on the cloud and you have this little cloud symbol right here um, and that's something that will let you know if the file is on your computer or it's on the cloud. Um, if it's on the cloud, let's say and you want to save it to your computer, you do the same thing, save as. And when this window comes up, you say save to your computer. Um, if the window doesn't look like this and, you know, it looks like the normal window, look for these little symbols. It says save to cloud documents, save onto your computer. It will be um, accessible also through the normal window you just have to look for it okay um, so you can save it either to your computer or to the clouds i suggest that you start saving to the cloud so that way you don't clog up your um, computer space okay so the one thing i want to point out is let's say if i close this okay now i'm going to go to the cloud uh, settings here now if i go to files i want to point out some a difference the sync files, think about the sync files being a hard drive, okay? So those are like 
the files that you basically store. And if you see here, you don't see that folder that I just created on Photoshop. If you go to demo importing files, um, we're going to have the normal raw file. And if I go here, it's going to have basically my two files. So that's all I have. It, I don't have access to that file that I just saved to. And the reason is that there is a difference between sync files. This is your hard drive where you're storing stuff. The documents that you're working on on the cloud and you want to open in different computers, those are going to be here under cloud documents. So if I click here under cloud documents, then you will see the demo two folder that I just created. And I go in here and there's going to be my file that has layers that I can work on. And right now it doesn't have a preview because it's a PSC document in the cloud. But if I go to Photoshop, all right, and I'm gonna quit Photoshop, and I'm gonna reopen it, and you'll see that you will have access to the cloud documents. Um, so I'm gonna go here again and reopen Photoshop. Okay, so on the left side right here, you're gonna see that it says cloud documents. And if you're there, you should see your files that you have access to and you can just open them. So let's wait until it's loading them right now. Um, okay, here we go. So now I have demo two. So this is under my cloud documents. And I can basically access them. I can make new folders. So basically, as you edit this window here, is actively editing the cloud also. So if, if you do stuff here and add a folder, like right now, and I put like sample folder, oh, and then save, you're going to see it on the cloud also. Okay, so that kind of stuff is basically sync all the time it's basically like doing google drive where you have like your drive but you're accessing it directly through photoshop here um, so you can actually open your document and edit it and then close it if you go to a different computer somewhere else that has photoshop you can reopen and re-edit so that's a really cool thing about the cloud file so remember you have to see if it has the cloud symbol that means that it's on the cloud if you don't see that it means that you're saving it to your computer um, in some cases, you want to do that if you want to save it to your computer so you can put it in a USB and give it to somebody or something like that. Um, but if it's a file that you're working on and you're actively going to or for the class, I suggest that you do this because that way you have access um, anywhere you go and, and you don't um, take space on your hard drive. So I'm going to close this. And then when you're here, you know, if you ever want to get to this, um, the home, it will be all your recent files. Let's say if I'm opening this one right here. Um, and I'm here and I want to go to that menu that I just saw. You see this little home um, symbol. If I click here, it goes to here. All right. So any moment that you click there, it will take you back and you can access your cloud documents. Okay. And if you want to go back to Photoshop, you click here and it goes back to Photoshop. Okay. So this is going to be your place to go so you can get your cloud documents and this is really cool because that way you don't have to worry about it now the only thing is that you don't have access to the files that are here so the normal files that are sync this is just your hard drive if you want to put stuff there you have a lot of space i think it's like 82 gigabytes um, of free storage space so you can upload all the pictures that you take upload them here and then just download the ones that you want to work with okay um, and then once you download those, you can import them to the cloud documents here through Photoshop. Okay. So the idea is that you use files for things that you're not working on and you just store them under files. Okay. Once you're done and you turn into project, you basically put folders here and you title with the project or the date and you store them here. If you're actively working a document, then you're going to go through photo Photoshop here. You open the files and then when you go to um, file, save as just remember to save to cloud documents okay and then if you save it to the cloud documents then you won't have any trouble because then you can access it anywhere at any time and it won't take space in your hard drive um, and you can use basically the 82 gigabytes that you have in photoshop cloud for cloud documents so you can do basically all your work to the cloud if you want um, so i just wanted to share that because i think nowadays with people like do, creating a lot of content 
the hard drives in the laptops or the computers get filled really quickly. And this is a great way of saving some space um, in your computer. If you have any questions, please let me know. I hope that this was helpful. Um, if you still have questions, just shoot me an email or in class, you can ask me about the details. Um, or if something is not working, it could be that you don't have the latest version of Photoshop. One way of knowing is if you're here, you have to make sure that this Photoshop icon has round edges, okay, like that one. If you see straight lines, you have an older version, okay? And the older version looks like this, but it doesn't have the cloud documents option here. So you wanna look for this little round Photoshop symbol so we can have the cloud documents. The website here of Creative Cloud, that is accessible at any moment, okay? You can just go to, remember, um, it's up here, assets, dot adobe.com you basically use your email that you have registered for the adobe account the school gives you one so um, just use your um, normal email and the password and it will take you into the account that you can start uploading all your files from your computer so you can save some space and then delete them from your computer so you have them here okay if you want to free some space in your hard drive you probably don't want to sync your folder locally in your computer with the cloud. So I'm going to show you what that looks like on a Mac. So um, you have to look for this um, Adobe Creative Cloud app that looks something like this, okay? Um, it might be different from a PC, but when you open this, you have this little cloud symbol, okay? And you can decide to um, not, you can pause the sync or you can decide to not sync it, okay? So if you pause the sync, Basically, it's not going to download all the stuff that you upload to the website to your computer or your syncing folder, okay? Um, so that's something that you have to be aware of, that you might want to not sync it to your computer if you're looking um, to save some space. Um, basically, if you see this folder right here that says Open Sync Folder, if I click on that, it's going to open this um Creative Cloud files here that's on my computer. And here I have the students folder that you saw in the cloud are also here. So that's one of the things that you have to be aware of. Like if you don't want to sync this, don't sync it and pause it. So that way it doesn't start downloading all the stuff that you upload to your computer because then that defeats the purpose of using that space to free some space in your um, computer. So just make sure that um, you have this on pause and then it won't it won't be syncing with your stuff. So I would do this first, pause it, and then upload it to the web version, and that way you don't have to worry about it. Also, um, I forgot to mention that when you go here to your um, sync folder, you'll notice that you don't have access to the cloud uh, files. Those are definitely only in the cloud, which is good, because that way they won't take a lot of space in your computer. So the cloud documents live in the cloud. Um, the files that you have sync on the cloud here, they're not um, going to be affected by the uh, cloud. So there are two different things, and I want to point that out before we leave, is make sure that you know the difference that there are the files that are sync, and then there are the cloud documents that you create by saving as cloud documents. And the cloud documents, you do not, do not have access in your computer. Those are only through Photoshop and the folder in the cloud, okay? All right, have a great day. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and it will be helpful for you.